Hey guys, it's Kisty Nocturne, and guess what I'm doing today? You bet it, it's a spore video. <laughs> We're doing Fear of Flying, Rolling Thunder, Missionary, and Spice Hoarder. I got all these achievements all at once, so bear with me. This was all in under an hour. It literally took me 30 minutes to roll the perfect game. I immediately skipped to the Civilization mode because pretty much if you look at... Um, what's called the village or tribal stage. It's pretty much the same thing as the previous creature stage. The only difference is, is that you actually have to uh, go either between actually being friendly with everyone and playing musical instruments or beating them up with uh, axes and burning their villages to the ground. It's actually quite fun, but I skipped ahead here and decided to do the civilization stage because this you get to do a whole bunch of multitasking and you can get a ton of achievements in just one round so first off I you start with a city and you get a vehicle you then take the vehicle around and you get spices this is for the spice hoarder achievements um, you go to the geyser set it up and it starts getting it for you. You also have little tribes walking around. You can take your vehicles, put them there, and you get stuff for it. In my case, in this video, I got a vehicle, which was kind of cool. Um, you also can go in and le and uh, edit your city so they get make you more money. The key here is you want more spore bucks. The more spore bucks you have, the bigger your military can be, and the quicker this goes. So, I'm going into the city here and I'm making housing which you have to have then I went and made a theater and finally the factory which is the thing that's gonna make you money now the key is is that you have to make sure your citizens are happy because if you have angry citizens well they tend to take money rather than make you money so real quick while I sent off the troops to go begin the missionary achievement by going to convert the city I'm gonna work on my little city and make some more spore bucks come in per minute I believe if I'm wrong well it's either per minute or it's every 30 seconds I don't really pay much attention because after a certain point I have so much money and my military so huge you don't really need to worry about it anymore so you go in to convert a city and this is for the missionary achievement for the combat achievement would be you are military and you blow the place to bits. And then you also have the economy, the economist, but uh, that involves trading. And that's a lot harder to do because you got to be friends with everybody and get them to see your way, which is to make money. But we're not doing those achievements today. We're doing, we're doing the missionary achievement, which means that you have to get everyone to believe what you believe. And speaking of achievements, I forgot to list off what each one does. Um, for Rolling Thunder, it's complete the, the civilization level within an hour or less than an hour. Missionary is, is that you finish the civilization stage with more than eight religious cities. Fear of Flying, you finish the civilization stage without buying an aircraft. And you're going to see when I conquer the third city here coming up that... Oh, I just got a second city. Woo! This was the first city I took over, and this cutscene plays, and their flag changes, and all of a sudden, they look exactly like you. Which is very hard to tell, because I slightly changed the color scheme from when I started as the creature. But anyways, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, Fear of Flying finished the Civilization stage without buying an aircraft. And Spice Hoarder is control every spice resource node on the planet simultaneously. You can get that while you're competing against the other cities. Or you can get that after you got all of them. I got it at the after point. Um, you can also check to see how you're doing um, by going into your timeline and looking at what you, you know, who you've taken over and who you converted and that's what it looks like when you convert someone is that that little eye pops up that says that, oh, they you've religiously conquered them. And sometimes it'll give you a choice if the city believes in something else, like if they're a military-based uh, city. 
So you can choose to keep them military, which then you can, you know, go back and forth between being military or religious. But since we're going for missionary achievement, we're going to make them religious. And then can improve upon their city, making you more money. Remember, happy people equals more spore bucks. And they didn't have a factory. I believe I almost disbanded my entire car group there. So we're going to move on to the next little city. This was the village that I had visited earlier that gave me a car. So they're mostly already converted. The only problem was is that I forgot to go over and get them. And anytime you conquer a city, their spice nodes go up for as neutral. So you got to go and pick them up. And they're all over the place. Now, I have one ship right now, and it's running around, that I'm having to get all the spice nodes. Although the pink just stole one, so I'm going to go steal it back. But, oh, that lovely gold city just got taken over. These cutscenes get really annoying, but the only reason I added them is so that way you guys can count how many times I converted a city, rather than actually, because I was never really looking at the city when I took over. Oh, and look, it's the airplane, which we are not going to use. There's a little teaser to what they look like. So anyways, got the other city. We're continuing on. I grabbed that spice node. And make more ships, because now we've conquered everybody on my continent. It's time to go to the next one, which we're going to go after pink. Why? Because I don't like pink. Simple as that. My fair colors are purple and red. But apparently I also conquered turquoise while I was doing this. So they cut away and then cut back. Now if your ships get damaged or your vehicles get damaged, you can always park them next to the city that you're that either that you've taken over or that you started with and they'll be healed slightly. I'm slowly building my navy. This is going to be one of my more profitable cities as you can see. More nodes. And over there is the blue city which I took over and I'm going to get rid of some vehicles here because you don't need so many vehicles on the mainland once you own the place. Although later I learned my lesson that you at least need to keep two vehicles there. And we're going to send these guys off to do the blue. I wanted to save the blue, blue for last, but uh, they started attacking me, so I got annoyed. Pink is taking forever. Pink is going slow again. Oops. I must have just conquered blue. That was quick. Of course, it doesn't help when I send like 15 cars after them. <laughs> and we make them go religious. Although, I don't know why they showed the little spaceship right there. So, I guess it's because it was late popping up earlier. But now we have the pink city! Pink is now blue. Well, in this case, purple. But this is what I turned their city into. Very profitable, nice city. If you guys are waiting for the Spice Hoarder achievement, I got this while... You want to still be collecting the Spice Nodes while you're conquering cities and sometimes that can take away your resources making this go a little longer so I just mainly focused on converting all the cities and then I went back and got the spice so if you want um, how to get the spice hoarder achievement just head towards like the near end of the video or about 10 minutes I believe towards yeah 10 minutes into the video and you'll find the um, you'll see me get gathering more spice nodes but I forgot to add this. You're going to want defenses on your city because sometimes things attack them. And I learned that the hard way because normally nothing attacks my cities. I have it so well defended um, that nothing attacks me. But what I didn't notice was is that those giant creatures that are walking around on the planet 
might want to come into my cities and start wreaking havoc like Godzilla. And you'll see why I'm mentioning this later on. So, we're converting yellow right now. Good. Yellow's going to be ours. Oh, it is ours. Little graphic glitch right there for the uh, music because you sing to them, you preach to them. That's how it works. And for those of you who want to hear game audio, I'm sorry. I turned it all the way down. Um, I'll try to turn it up at some point. But anyways, now everyone's religious, and I don't need any vehicles right there, so I'm going to... Well, actually, I forgot I needed four vehicles for the, sp for the Spice Geysers. But now I own two continents, and there's only one group left, and that is the Greens. Oh, and there's a yellow village right there, which I go over to, and they gave me some spore bucks instead of, uh, actually... Oh, one of my cities is under attack by what? What is attacking my city? I see nothing. I went over and looked. There's nothing there. So anyways, continuing on. Let's conquer these last two cities and convert them and get our achievements. I had three ships just happened to be sitting right there ready to rock and roll. I'm going to make some more here and send those ones off to the second city. Although, you're going to be surprised how the green actually ended this. Because I've only have had it happen once. So, I conquer the green city. Meanwhile, this cutscene is playing. My other ships are heading towards the other green city. So, converted them. Was about to start working on the city when I was like, okay. And then this popped up. We can see the writing on the wall. Oh look, fear of flying. So, definitely you want a navy for if you want to uh, not get the if you want the fear of flying achievement. Rolling thunder, complete the civilization stage in less than an hour. This took me 30 to 45 minutes. Missionary achievement, finish the civilization stage with eight religious cities or more. So, And now we're going to go get Spice Hoarder. And this was all one continuous game session. I just sat down and ran with it. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm bragging, but... What the hell is attacking that city? Nothing's... I've gone over and looked. It, there's nothing there. So I'm going to send my cars off to look. And I'll go look at that city here in a bit. Oh, that's what's attacking my city. Remember what I said about turrets? This is why. I learned my lesson. Always keep vehicles nearby. So, there's my Spice Geyser. And I thought this was the last Spice Geyser. And I looked and looked and looked. And I can't, couldn't find that last Geyser on the map. Because all the Geyser nodes are marked. And I'm looking. And then it occurs to me... There's one hiding at the very edge of the map. And if you can see my map you, on the left side of the screen, you can see there's this tiny little dot that looks purple, but it's not. It's actually grayed. And I'm going to send this one car out to go get it. I originally had a setup to show you guys what my vehicles look like, but they're so tiny, there's no point in showing them. And most of the stuff I'm using is the Maxis defaults. So, as I went to move a car to get it repaired, this popped up as I captured that last node. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later.